have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You gotta touch. You have to see it when no. Hi guys. Hey. What is up? We are back. I look real yellow. <laughs> we are back with another review for you. So today we are reviewing Meek Mill's CD. Wins and losses. So first thoughts on <laughs> first thoughts on Meek Mill's CD. I am. We both know that I am a Drake stan. Drake. We don't want to get into that. Uh, Me and Drake Aubrey Graham are here. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Drake right I'm now. I'm just saying. Officially. I'm talking about Drake right now. Well, no, don't come with the shade. <laughs> the hater, uh, all of that hater ratio. I don't it need it. It ain't hate. So, I'm a Drake stan. I love Drake. Officially, Drake won the beef. Of course he did. He's Drake. He still won. won the beef. No. Me did we We gotta no. go get on that debate. Me. Cause you will look. Nope. Nope. Hey. Okay, nope. I just want to say one thing. No, I just want to say one no. thing. I just want to say one thing. What? Drake got pissed on. Get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me say two things. Okay, no, he, he got pissed on. You, this is not. On. Hold up. Hold he up. Got pissed on. Hold up. And we found out. It was what pissed. we will not do on this video is have Drake slander. So Honestly, we do not. Too much. I do not. I, I will not. Focus. Yes. My eyes blur. Condone, condone <laughs> Drake slander on this uh, episode of AB Reviews. So, don't even do it. No, don't get me wrong. I feel like Drake is a great <sighs> artist. He's trying my life right hey, now, Drake guys. is a great artist. Please don't try my life. <laughs> Drake is a great <laughs> artist. But when it come down to- No. <laughs> All right. No. Anyways, we are talking about Meek's- Drake won by popularity. <laughs> we are talking about Meek's CD today. And his CD wins and losses. I feel like was pretty decent. It was solid. No. It was pretty decent. I got a couple favorites on there. Um, overall, you know, you can tell his growth as a, not even just an artist, his growth as a person. And watching the interview with The Breakfast Club where he's talking about how, you know, that one day me and Drake will get to talk or whatever, but it can't be forced. And he also said he was like, on lean and pills and all this other stuff and he just wasn't in a clear state of mind so i commend him for his growth as a person maybe being with Nicki minaj was not the best idea for him even though i love Nicki, sometimes sometimes she do something it's a little fugazi but we know i love me some Nicki minaj so favorites on the album i'll go to the track list i don't know about um right here um it, the city is 17 songs long and I have been saying this for a good minute I don't know how I feel about these long albums that people keep coming out with 21 Savage DJ Khaled uh, Meek Mill they come out with these 20 song cities or like over 13 I mean that's how they used to do it in the 90s yo it's not the, in the 90s. 90s in the no, 90s they ran Back to what I was saying. In the 90s, I feel like music was real. It had substance. It told a story sometimes. Now, I feel like I don't want to hear 21 songs of 21 Savage going 21, 21, or. I can I can agree on that, but Meat Mill album was decent. Like, I mean, I can appreciate, I enjoy, I I can appreciate song, so. this album because it had a variety. He wasn't just screaming on it. Um, it has like some variations. He gives you like the ballad type song. And he can actually rap. The ballad type song and fall through. He got, you know, Chris Brown and Ty Dolla Sign. And we all know that I love some Chris Brown and some Ty Dolla Sign. F That Checkup is one of my personal favorites with one of my Lil favorites Uzi too. because he is a Lil Uzi stan. So, I mean. You got a good amount of features. The man, high, the man high right now. You got a good amount of features to balance out what he was doing. So you got features from Uzi, Chris Brown, Ty Dolla Sign, Young Thug, Future, Gordon Banks, Yo Gotti, Rick Ross, um, The Dream, Young Black America is one of my favorites, and I did Yo, not expect that. 
I fucks with that hard. That might be my favorite song right now. He also has Lit uh, boy. Lit's Kamraz. Don't know who that is, but he sound like Tory Lane. The Dream, Bert Simmons, Quavo, Tiana Taylor, and Rick Ross. So, yeah. Recently, did you see Trick Daddy on Instagram? Yeah, I mean, I ain't watch it. I'm sorry, you getting the glare. That's cool. You see Trick Daddy on Instagram, he was like going ham about how he needs to respect Miami dudes and Miami dudes been doing the cocaine. I don't know what he was talking about. I guess oh, the song with Rick Ross, I was looking for background information, so I don't know. I'll drop some background info in the com well the description box so you can get your daily tea, whatever. But I mean, Trick Daddy still do drugs, so could just be going crazy. The comments were mixed, so I'll in uh, insert what he posted so you guys can see that too. These niggas, y'all get mad at me. Oh, Trick and his crew always star and shit, baby. And the fuck they gotta pay respect, pay homage, and they gotta pay for protection. You don't see us hanging in other niggas' towns and cities and hood and, 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 and they clubs trying to take over. You don't see that. Y'all wonder why niggas be hallucinating, talking about what they started, what they trendsetters. Man, you inspired. I could have fuck you inspired a Miami nigga. But overall, I think the CD was pretty, pretty solid. It took me a while to get through because I don't really listen to long CDs like that anymore. I listen to all of Drake because it's Drake, but don't even. But um, yeah, I like it. I didn't expect to like it, well, so. I mean, this is the, yo, he the man. He came out with House Party. He, yo, he been, he been on the scene. He just, his daily life, he be taking L's. But his music is legit. Like, yo, um, most Tor I um, Tony Story, like, come on. Well, I don't know the name of it, but the song, Hold Up, Wait a Minute. Y'all thought I was finished? Pull up in that Aston Martin, y'all thought it was rented? Come on. <laughs> yo, meet me up. I like, like me turn, turn my noodles like that. into pasta. That's my song. My money turn my noodles into pasta. Turn my tuna into lobster. That's my song. Uh, anyway, he loves some lobster. So yes, he <laughs> talked about lobster on this CD too. A couple of times. Yeah, so, so he think lobster is his end all be all. Yeah, lobster is good. It is. Mm -hmm. Um, so favorite song? Go. What song? Um, I don't really have a favorite. I like wins and losses. Have all right. Let me let me say the songs I don't like. <laughs> um, we ball. I ain't really. I wasn't really feeling that we young thug. Yeah, and I don't think I was either. Fall through. I wasn't really feeling that one. Either. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I need to listen to it again. It might have been decent. It was like a ballad really type song, like a slower one. I wasn't really feeling it. Mm -hmm. And um, ball player. Every, everything else I like. Mm -hmm. My all time favorite that I listened to like five times in the morning was "F That Check Up" with Uzi. Uzi kill shit. <laughs> um, whatever you need with Chris Brown and Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, that maybe is Uzi just got a good ear for music, cause like down to everything he be on be legit. I guess that was one of my favorites. Um, I like Fall Through. I wouldn't say it's a favorite. Um, and what else? Young Black America, just for the message that it gives. He also I has dope as hell. I said dope as hell. Three mini movies. To go with the it's three, right? I don't know. I ain't watched it. I just <coughs> ain't chopped the one. Um, he has a variety of like little mini movies. I'm gonna just check how many movies it is. And um Yeah, it's like the movie, chapter one, um, Meek Mills Wins and Losses, chapter two, and chapter three. Chapter three was released like four days ago, so I'm assuming that's the number that we're on now. And it was like supposed to be released before his album. I think that's done because um, it got the full movie on World Star now. Yeah, I'm saying it was to lead up to his album. Uh, so since the album is out, now we done. But uh, make sure you go watch the um, the three mini movies. I watched. It, it may have been the first one, or we just put the link up. Yeah, the mm -hmm. first one or the one for. Um, 
Young Black America. I think it's a video for that. I watched a video for Young Black America. It was decent. He found this little boy to look just like him in those pictures where he got them little baby dreads. Um, he do got a son. <coughs> but I think son. No, this, yeah, this boy was like a little old, kind of grown. But it was decent. Check that out. We'll put that in the description box as well. How many flames? How lit is it to you? Three. I was thinking the same thing. Maybe, yeah, three, three. So what does it take? All of our reviews have been like three and under. What does it take to get a four or five? Oh no, Jay was four. You know, Jay is five, but it might not ever have another five again. Um, shit, honestly. Musicality, delivery, if we, voice. If, if we did like one to <coughs> ten, it'd probably be different. Like I get, I probably would have gave Meek like an eight. I probably would give him a seven or a six and a half. But we doing one to five, so that's a three. Yeah, I feel like three is solid. <clears throat> so yeah, I feel like three is substantial for this album. Um, it was decent. You want to play something a little bit for? One? Do you feel like he had any standout lines? I just I, mm -hmm. I had to play this one. I just love this song. I had to pause it. Mm. So that was just a little taste of F that check up because it is everything. Um, part of usual, let us know what you think about the CD in the comments. Smash the like button. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Bro? Um, check out the other videos. Also got a video coming out with me. I don't, <laughs> is it coming out first? Or? Well, um, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me right, to edit. Just cut this out. Uh, also got a video of me eating some hail ramen. Hail ramen from Strings hail ramen. in Chicago. Level five. Check that out. As always, A B click. This has been the Meek Meal review for wins and losses, and we will see you next video. Toodles. Y'all not prosper. Young niggas started with oozing noodles, now we eating lobster. Uh. As I walk.